Welcome back. Today's video is about the counting the number of days for long signal. Before doing that, we have again to come back to how sector works. So let's come back to the bank sector. A buy signal is issued when you have here the gray money flow line that cross above the average black line when this black line is below zero. So this means that whenever the gray signal here is below zero and the black line is below zero also like here, then the sector is in a buy weight mode. It is still short but we are just waiting for a buy signal. And the distance to a buy signal can be evaluated by calculating the, the distance of this arrow here in green. So when we calculate the distance for each sector, then we can evaluate the number of days until the whole market issues turns long, issues a buy signal. Ok, so let's go back to the indicator. So here are the uh, ratio of sectors on a buy signal weight mode. This means that the higher we go here, the higher the peak, the deeper the sell-off. Why? Because this means that a lot of sectors are in a buy weight mode. This means that they are short. And as soon as this signal turns below 50%, this means that more and more sectors start to issue buy signal. But we were already very much oversold because more than 50% of the sector were waiting for a buy signal to be issued. So as soon as we cross below this level, then you see we are already deep down here and probably moving back up. But as soon as this signal is issued, then what we do is to start counting the number of days until we have a buy signal. So that means that as soon as this figure here cross below zero, this means that the majority of the sector have issued a buy signal and the whole market is up. This is a, a slow indicator because whenever this indicator issues a signal it means that the whole market has already moved into a buy mode. Okay, thank you very much.